In today's world, people have a pressing need to communicate and get information, wherever they are. Analysts say existing tools don't adequately meet that need. Just having information available on a desktop or at a specific place where you have to go get it is not how people are using information today. They need to get information when they need it, when they want it, and no matter where they are. To meet that need, a new category of devices, personal wireless communicators, will soon enable people to stay in touch wherever they are. They will be able to connect with information services and computer networks around the world. Motorola, in the communications business for more than 65 years, building two-way radios, pagers, and cellular phones, is producing the first of these devices. When the software is, uh, is available on these small devices, uh, and people are much more readily uh, able to uh, do the simple but time-consuming things they do every day, like update their calendar or send a quick message or uh, collect information. Uh, I think that people will say this is a lot easier than doing it with a pencil. The new Envoy personal wireless communicator is based on technology from General Magic. It combines fax, telecommunications, pager, and electronic mail capabilities. With it, you can send a message to a colleague a thousand miles away, or check your flight schedule, all en route to the airport. I would use it, for example, to send messages either to uh, people at home or people at work. Uh, for example, I may want to send a message to my boss uh, telling him either I'm late or I need some answers and I need them right away. Uh, what I would do is I would open up a, a message. I would pick my boss. I could type in whatever I want. It's got a virtual keyboard. And I could actually write and sign my name. And I could send the message. And the message will be sent to him. And I'll be notified when it goes out. Analysts project some 4 million people will be using personal wireless communicators by the year 1998. In San Jose, California, this is John Crump reporting.